So there is one thing, one thing that both liberals and conservatives must agree on. The current copyright framework is from 2001. This is a time before smartphones, when we were using VHS, so it is in desperate need of an update. Šestdesetih vlastne so pa kritike na račun enajstega in trinajstega člena, ki zadeva ta povezave na spletne strani. I think the biggest threat to users' rights in the copyright reform is um, the new neighboring right, the so-called neighboring right for press publishers or news publishers for the matter. Because that is something that will severely impact the way we are communicating on the net um, because we are hyperlinking all the time and this right is certainly targeting the hyperlink or the right to link um, and putting it under the regime of copyrights and neighboring rights. Ce qui profite ce sont les gens d'internet qui se servent gratuitement du contenu et les valorisent grâce à la publicité. Imamo zvezo uh, inovativnih medijo in regionalnih medijo ki jasno pozarja da zgodba iz Nemčije se bo ponovila uh, Google bo dubo za stonsko licenco vsi ostali se bo mogli boriti. Kvaliteta novinarstva pada širom po svetu, po Evropi, ravno zaradi tega, ker so novinari zelo slabo ali pa nič plačani od tega, kar delajo in platforme uničujejo praktično novinarski ceh. As EPP, we want to find a balance. We want to make sure that creators have legal access to more content and that means by having legal access, you are automatically ensuring a fairer compensation, a fairer remuneration for creators. So videos with your daughter singing a Beyonce song, children performing a musical dance show in the kindergarten, pop music playing in the background as you record your friends celebrating. All these videos will be blocked. After all the hard work that songwriters, producers and artists put in to making the record, it is being placed into an industry that's making money. So therefore you expect a fair share of the pie to come back to you as remuneration for the effort that you put in. We know that these automated systems are not perfect. There will be probably many unintended consequences. We've seen filters fail again and again. They've deleted everything from documentation of human rights abuses, perfectly legal educational content, and in one case even a video of a purring cat. Machine learning, text and data mining and artificial intelligence are linked and if we want to have uh, that possibility in Europe of using artificial intelligence, we need text and data mining. There must be like a, a very good compromise which helps um, to satisfy the needs of everyone and not only of the industry, um, of those ones who only make the money out of it. Uh, Wikipedia founder Jimmy Wales, you've got uh, World Wide Web inventor Tim Berners-Lee, they say that legislation like this and the way in which it will affect uh, content online could change how the internet functions quite simply. Things like memes, which are where you take content and it becomes, it's repeated across uh, social media and different platforms like that in a fun way. This is uh, how a lot of people now communicate online with images and memes and whatnot, that that could be done away with if this copyright legislation is too restrictive. In Europe, there are very different authors-pravni systems on this area, which is easy to do in the past in Slovenia and not so easy to do in Germany. Do you want to be poenotiti, da bi učitelji v bistvu lahko na enak način uporabljali avtorska dela pri pouku in tudi za njihovo sodelovanje bi bilo to izredno pomembno. Učitelji si želijo jasen sistem oziroma ne želijo, da bi jih obremenjevali s poznavanjem avtorskega prava in idealno za učinkovit notranji trg, da bi bil ta režim poenoten. What is needed for copyright is a balanced approach. So we need to balance the, the interest of right holders against the interest of users. And that's what needs to be fixed in the current system. And so we very much hope that they seize this opportunity and update the rules for them to make sense in today's digital era.